California to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. A church you can call home where we honor God, we love family, serve others, and we pursue excellence. Amen. So, bienvenidos a la Iglesia Nuevo Comienzo. And we want to welcome our NBC family, all the visitors, and all of you that are joining us by audio or video. Amen. Just prepare yourselves to receive whatever God has for you. He's got something for you. Tell him, you know, hey, I want I want it. I want it. You know, just like the lady with the issue of blood. She says, I want some healing from you. You need some healing. Whatever touch you need from him, let him know. And don't let him go. He's right there, you know. And uh, so prepare yourselves to receive. We're going to be talking about daily walking with Jesus or daily walking with God, you know. And uh, we need to do it on a daily basis, not just once in a while, you know. We hit and miss all the time. Well, I'm feeling well, you know. But the Bible says he's God on the mountain and he's God in the valley, you know. And we go through some ups and downs, you know. But is he with you? Well, he says he never leaves you nor forsakes you. What about you? You know, when we're feeling better, you know, we just let him go. <laughs> but he doesn't let go. He says, I am with you through all this. Amen. You read the footprints. Man, that's one of my favorites. You read the footprints and you find out, why did you abandon me, Jesus? He says, no, it was the other way around. He says, when you was hurting, he says, I was carrying you. You saw one footprint. He says, one track. That was me carrying you. Amen. So he's, he's not leaving you. So you start feeling that way. It's time for you to reload. It's time for you, for you to get filled up again, you know, because you can't run on empty. You know, you try yeah. doing that with your car, and if it's on empty, it ain't taking you nowhere. It. It's a great tool, you know, but if it's on empty, it ain't going nowhere. So we, as Christians, you know, we need spiritual fuel, and that spiritual yes. fuel you have is the Word of God, and it keeps you going. Amen? But you got to stay filled to overflowing. Amen? Because God, you don't know when God is going to call you. He calls you all the time. But a lot of times, we don't make ourselves available. Amen? Woo! Hallelujah. That was a handful. A mouthful. <laughs> anyway, Amen. let's make this declaration together and let's get going. Amen? Grab your sword, Amen. soldier of God, and say it like you mean it. Amen? <coughs> this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert, my spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. My mind is alert. You know the battlefield is the mind. Yes. That thing is going a thousand miles an hour all the time. You know, you've got good things, negative things, all kinds of things going through there. And the enemy knows this. He can't force you to do anything, but he can put some thoughts there. And you start feeding on it. Instead of renewing your mind, you start keep feeding on it, keep feeding on it. Next thing you know, is you just like lukewarm, and you just like the world. I say, wait a minute, I, I don't want to do that. Renew your mind with the word of God. Just get that stuff out of there. Delete, 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 and let it go. Amen. I say, mm -mm. that's past up. I don't want to bring it up no more. Whoo, hallelujah. Let's get your healing praise God. <laughs> thank, you, thank you Lord, thank you Lord I've got a nugget I want to read with you I shared it with our Bible group this uh, Wednesday and I want to read it with you and I want you to take this write it uh, or, or just post it somewhere where you can see it all the time it says you go nowhere by accident wherever you go God is sending you he's your heavenly father and we're his children and he's going to send us also, if you've never been told, we are the body of Christ. We are the church. This building is not the church. We are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Amen. We are the church, the body of Christ, going somewhere to happen to bless somebody yes. in this dark world. Amen? Yes. So God is sending me. Wherever you are, God has put you there. Uh -huh. Amen? You know, wherever you are, you know, we get upset, we get mad, you know, and say, hey, I just want to do the best I can wherever God sends me. And God sent me, you know, the military used to send me in all kinds of places. But, you know, my attitude changed, especially when I got born again. Now, Lord, I got a new place I can go mm -hmm. and serve you. That's the way we need to see this. Amen. Wherever he puts you, you know, flowers, plants. They, 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 they grow up from seed. But wherever that seed falls, it'll grow up. It could fall in a crack and it'll 
grow up. Yes, and all these plants and flowers, they have some beautiful, I mean, plants. They have beautiful flowers. Spring's coming up, summer's coming up. All these flowers are so beautiful. Yeah. They bloom wherever they are sown. Uh -huh. They bloom wherever they're planted. We need to do, we're, we're God's seed going somewhere to happen. And wherever he plants you, just bloom. Lord, I'm doing this unto you. Get this right. Lord, you send me, and I'm going to do the best I can. And I'm going to bloom wherever you sent me. Yeah. And people see you, they see the love and compassion of Christ. Let's remember this. Amen. We trying to, well, I didn't want to go there. And man, we can change their attitude. Uh -huh. He has a purpose uh -huh. in you being there. Uh -huh. He has a purpose for you being there. Let's remember that. Christ who dwells in you has something he wants to do. Yes. See yourself that way. Man, he wants to use his body. We're the church. We're the body of Christ. Christ who dwells in you has something he wants to do through you where you are. Believe this and go in his grace, his love, and his power. Amen. He's not giving us a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and of a sound mind. Amen. Ooh, man, yeah. this blesses me. You, know, you listen to this. What we are is God's gift to us. Yeah. And what we become is our gift to God. Mm -hmm. Lord, I'm doing this under you. Let's remember that, mm -hmm. you know, because we try to please people too much. Mm. And you'll never please him. No, boy. Let's just please God. Amen. Yes. Be a God pleaser, not a people pleaser. Amen. Mm -hmm. amen. Do you receive this? Yes. Say amen or oh me. Uh, <laughs> amen. I got a few, few of these. Last one is this. Let your words, and we're going to be talking more about this, but let your words agree with his word. Yes. Let your words agree with his word. What's his word? The Bible. Mm -hmm. The Bible is the word of God. So let your words agree with what the word of God says. Not with what brother so-and-so said or sister so-and-so said. Do you have scripture for it? Oh no, uh, we just heard it somewhere. And we're just repeating it. We're not parents. That's it. We're originally made by God. And you're an original, not a copy of anything. Okay. Amen. So let the words of God Agree with what the word of God says. Amen. Yeah. Mm, hallelujah. I'm blessed. Let's say amen and we can go home. Yeah. <laughs> hallelujah. Daily, daily, daily walking with Jesus. Isn't that something? He says he's our heavenly father. So what? We love his children and we're going to follow him. <laughs> we need to hunger and thirst for more of him. Yeah. We need to hunger and thirst for more of you, Lord. Fill us to overflow. Yeah. Let our cups run over. Knowing him. As you fellowship with him. What is Christianity all about? Christianity is about relationship with your Heavenly Father. Yes. Do you have relationship with your Heavenly Father? Mm -hmm. If you have relationship, then you know him. Yeah. And he knows you. He already knows you. But we need to know him. Yeah. And who we are and what we can do through yes. him. He says you can do all things all through things. Christ who strengthens you. Amen. Amen. So we don't step out in fear on a daily basis. Right. We step out. He said, Bible says, we step out in faith. Right. The just. <clears throat> we are his and we step out in faith. Amen. So let's remember this. And we're going to be, you know what? Open your Bibles to Psalms 23. I think we have a slide there, Carmen. Mm -hmm. If you have a Bible, just open it. Psalms 23, King James says this. The Lord is what? My, my shepherd. You can put yes. your name there. Yes. It says mine. No, he's not yours. He's mine. Mm. It says mine. My shepherd. Yes. <laughs> but you can put a line through that and just personalize it. Put your name yes. there. Yes. And then personalize your Bible. You know, somebody, oh no, I've I heard people say, you know, I don't want to put nothing on my Bible. Because if I leave it somewhere, somebody finds it, they can keep it. <laughs> You know, just throw that away and get you one that you can personalize, you know? Yeah. And I uh, start going through it and say, oh, I know whose Bible is this because they got their names all over the place. Yeah. Good. They need to do the same thing. The Lord is my shepherd. Amen. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Yeah. He leadeth me besides the still waters. Yes. He restores my soul. He leadeth yes. me in the path yes. of righteousness for his name's sake. Are you there yet? Yes. 
What else does it say? Yea. Yea, or what? Through the valley of death, I will fear no evil. Amen. It says, I will fear no evil, for thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Yes. Amen. My, my cup runneth yes. over. Amen. We must do this all the time. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Mm -hmm. it says, Surely goodness and mercy, mercy. shall follow me yeah. all the days all of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Forever. Amen. Amen. Man, we're going to follow him. He's going to be with us all the time. Woo. Hallelujah. John 10, 27 says this. My sheep, again, he's a shepherd. And we're the sheep. That's what my name is. My name's in the Bible. Yeah. It's a cordero. <laughs> it's a sheep. The Lamb of God. My sheep hears my voice. Yes. And I know them and they follow me. Uh -huh. So who are we to follow? We're to follow him. Amen. Yeah. We got all kinds of scripture for you. Uh, go to the uh, next one. The walking with God or walking with Jesus. Keep going. There we go. Micah 6 and 8. Oh. <laughs> I marked that. I, I made sure I marked this. Just, I tried to find Micah real quick. And it took me a few minutes to, to find Micah. <laughs> Are you there? I'm going to read it. <laughs> Just walking with God, amen. Oh, on a daily Jesus. basis. Oh, Let me know when you're there. Okay. <laughs> it's in the Bible, I guarantee you. I'll give you a clue, it's in the Old Testament. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's right before Zephaniah. It's between Jonah and Amos. <laughs> Are you there? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, King James says this. He says, He has shown thee, O man, what is good and what doth the Lord require of thee, but yeah. to do justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with the Lord. So we're to walk humbly with Him. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got other, I've got other translations for you here. The uh, Amplifier says this. He has told us, O man, what is good, mm -hmm. and what does the Lord require of you, mm -hmm. except to be just, and to love, and to diligently practice kindness, yes. practice his compassion, yes. amen, and to walk humbly with the Lord, mm -hmm. setting aside any overblown uh -huh. sense of importance or self-righteousness. Yes. Hallelujah. The uh, expanded Bible says this, Lord, who has uh, told you, O it says, human, oh man, what is good? He has told you uh, what he wants. The Lord requires from you to do what is right to other people, mm -hmm. just people. Love, being kind to others. Mercy, loving, uh, kindness, and live humbly, obeying and walking humbly with the Lord. Man, hallelujah. Walking with him. We're going to be talking about one of the greatest problems in the church today. Mm. You know, our church is now full. And we're still walking in fear because of COVID. Mm. Or whatever excuse mm. you have. But mm. one of the greatest problems in the church today is we've lost our hunger and our thirst yes. for Him. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Right. Where's the rest? Yeah. We lost our hunger and our thirst for Him. Though I guarantee you, physically, <laughs> you don't lose your hunger or your thirst. When your body wants food, you feed it. And when it's thirsty, you give it water if you want to survive, mm -hmm. if you want to live. But as far as spiritual, mm -hmm. we don't do anything. Oh. We need to feed our spirit. Yeah. Man. We need to, we're, we're a spirit. I don't know if you ever heard this, but you're a tribe being. Mm -hmm. Okay? You have a spirit, you have a soul, your mind, will, and emotions. And you live in a physical body amen so we feed our bodies all the time we feed our bodies all the time but what about your soul and what about your spirit what's the bible say your spirit man you feed mm -hmm. the word of god yes we got to feed it the word of god we need yes. to know what's right and what's wrong uh -huh. Uh -huh. and we got to feed it right because there's a spiritual battle going on oh yeah 
And if you're not feeding your spirit, mm -hmm. if you're in the flesh, if you're in, the, in the physically, you lose. Mm -hmm. You got to get in the word yeah. and feed your spirit the word of God. Yes. And your mind, your will, and your emotions, you got to renew on a daily basis. Right. That's what, or, excuse me, you got to renew as often as you need to. As often as you need to. <laughs> That's it. That's it. We need to do this mm -hmm. because it's a spiritual battle going on. Yes. And if you're not in the word and you're not renewing your mind, you're just going to fall. You're just going to blend in with the world. Oh, gosh. Amen. And we got to remember this. Yeah. We must desire to stir, a, stir up your hunger and thirst for God. That you will seek him with all your heart as you daily walk with him. Yeah. Again, I just wrote, have a note there that says it's a spiritual man. Mm. If you're not renewing your mind, if you're not feeding your spirit, you're going to fail. Yes. Because physically, you're no match to a spirit world. Mm -hmm. And that's what the Bible talks about. Because <laughs> in Ephesians, it tells you to put on the whole armor of God because yes. we fight these principalities in mm -hmm. heavenly places. And for you to do anything about that, mm -hmm. and we, we got to be in the Word. And Jesus mm -hmm. overcame all that and conquered all that but he's given us his word amen and we need to use the word amen Woo hallelujah Thank second you. timothy one and six and seven usually we we read one and six one and six but uh i'm going to throw in uh, uh verse seven it says therefore i remind you to stir up listen the uh -huh. gift which is in you uh -huh. he's gifted to you he's called to you he's anointed to you he's equipped you and he's he's gifted to you and it's with you. It's in you. Through the laying of my hands. For God has not given us a spirit of fear. But a power, power love, love, and of a sound love. mind. Amen. Yeah, yeah. So let's remember this as we step out on a daily basis. As we step out into yeah. this world. You know, we've yeah. been talking about an ungodly world. An impatient world. Mm -hmm. And a rude world. Oh, a rage-filled world. Oh, yeah, yeah. Amen. We got to. Have these before we step out. Amen. Have your have your visit with them. Amen. I want to strengthen myself up before I go facing these giants. Because mm -hmm. these giants are waiting on you. Oh, yeah. Amen. Says mm -hmm. David was a man after God's own heart. And you know, David knew his God. Yes, he did. Before he stepped out to face the giant. Yeah. And he overcame that giant. He defeated that giant. Yes, and we can do the same thing. Yeah. All we need to do is, is follow those examples God has given us. Yeah. Woo! God alone can satisfy our hunger and our thirst. John 7, 37 and 38 says this. If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of what? Living waters. Yeah. So we got to minister from that overflow. Our yeah. attitude should be stay hungry, stay thirsty, yeah. and walk with him on a daily basis. Amen. Not just once in a while, you know, but all the time. Uh -huh. You know, the spare tire uh, attitude, uh -huh. the spare tire is there. And we're not going to mess with it unless we have a flat tire. Uh -huh. And that's the way we try to treat God. Well, uh -huh. we had a good high, and we uh -huh. had a good sermon. <laughs> and we got to press on. For the whole week until next Sunday, huh. and we don't have enough to go. Huh. We got to stay full, yeah. Because you just can't allow yourself to go low, or or cold, or lukewarm. We got to stay hot, amen. We got to yeah. stay hot. We got to stay hungry. We got to stay thirsty for Him. Yeah. <coughs> John six thirty five says this, and God said unto them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger That's it. and he who believes in me will shall never thirst as we hunger and thirst and walk with him we draw close to him amen the bible says if you draw close to me i'll draw close to you yeah we can't deny him you know he says because if you deny me i'll deny you uh -huh. Uh -huh. so we want to be close to him amen we want him we want to be on his side yeah. <laughs> with him we win without him we lose <laughs> it's that simple. James 4 and 8 says this. What I just told you. <laughs> it says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Yeah. 
Cleanse your hands, you sinner, your sin, you sinners, mm -hmm. and purify your hearts, you double-minded. We cannot. You know what? If you don't feed on the word of God, you're going to be double-minded. Yeah. Because you go into a negative world, and all you're going to hear is negative stuff. Yeah. You know. So we need to remember this so we can renew our mind because of what God tells us this. Yes. You know where you're going and you know what you're going to hear. Stay full. You know when you stay full to overflowing? When they say something negative, you can say something positive. Yeah. So don't just be quiet. <coughs> don't be a defeated Christian. Maybe I got the word of God in me and you're not saying anything. Huh. You can speak out and say something. Yes. They said it. They don't mind saying it. Don't mind saying it. If you got it and you're overflowing, man, <laughs> you feel yourself just be like a like a sponge. Yes. <laughs> you know? Just man, you can soak it up. Mm -hmm. As soon as you touch something, man, that water just flows everywhere. That's you. You let the word of God just squirt out everywhere. Go everywhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. When you know how much God loves you. We get a revelation of the Father's love for us. And we want to love Him more and more and press on with the Word of God. Mm -hmm. And we will hunger and thirst and seek and love and serve Him all the time. Mm -hmm. Not just once in a while. You know, we know yeah. who our source is. We got to stay connected to the vine. He's the yeah. vine with the branches. Right. You know, if, if we get cut off and we can just cut ourselves from him, you know, and, and we just plug in one, once in a while when we want to, mm -hmm. it ain't going to work. It's, That's it. You're not going to have what it, what it takes. That's it. And it, it. He's not cutting you off. You're cutting yourself off. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We can't do this. Mm -hmm. Satan tries to give you false discernments of who God is. So we won't seek him. Uh, he puts stumbling blocks. He puts distractions yeah. for you not to hunger. Mm -hmm and mm -hmm. thirst. Mm -hmm. What he puts, he puts the word on. He puts yeah. people. He yeah. uses people to distract you yes. to come so that you can date. You know, all of a sudden you was warm. You was hot. Now you're getting to be lukewarm. Mm. And next thing you know is you're cold. Yeah. What happened? What happened to all of these people? <laughs> they let fear run them off. Yeah. But don't let fear run you off. That's it. Step out of faith. You know what? I'm gonna step out of faith because greater is He that's in me than He that's in the yes. world. I don't care what they're saying. Let His love you. Let His love transform you and give you and give you what you need. Mm -hmm. Amen. He wants to bless you. And what do we do? We want to give Him our best. Mm -hmm. Amen. Give Him your best. We're easily satisfied by worldly things. Huh. Jeremiah 2, 1 and, and uh, 2, 13 in the Amplified says, For my people have committed two evils. They have abandoned, they have rejected me, the fountain of living water. Hmm. And they have carved out their own sisters, sisters, hmm. broken, cracked sisters hmm. that cannot hold water. Yeah, yeah. Amen. In the contemporary English version, it says, You, my people, have sinned two ways. You have rejected me, the source of life, yes. give uh, life given water. Mm. And you have tried to collect water in cracked and leaking pits dug in the ground. Yeah. You know, we try to do our own thing. But he says, mm -hmm. He's the potter. We're going to read that here. Yeah. But I wrote this on here. Don't be leaky Christians. Oh my goodness. Don't be leaky Christians. Mm. You just gonna let that leak out of you? Yeah. No, you know what? It might go, but get filled again and stay filled to overflowing. You know this much already. But you know, if you're not feeding, feeding <coughs> and hunger and thirsty for more of him, if you're not giving yourself and staying keeping yourself yes. full, the world's gonna run you out. The world, you're going to run dry. Amen. And being leaky, next thing you know is, you're going to start talking negative. Oh. And you're leaking out negative stuff. Yeah. Next thing you know is, you're going to be just like the world. Mm. We don't retain the word. Always leaking out. Mm, come on. Mm -hmm. And a lot of us help real good by saying, you know, 
I can't learn the word of God. You know, it's just not me. You know, I don't know if it's just I've just got a problem. You know, I can't do it. Mm. Well, you're not confessing what the word of God says. Yes, the word yes. of God says you can do all things all through things. Christ. I have the mind of Christ. I can retain the word of God. And you yes. start reading it and reading it and reading it and meditating on it, you know. Next thing you know, it's gonna come out, you know, but don't knock yourself down. Well, I tried it and it wouldn't work. <laughs> but you know what? A lot of us try to a whole lot of negative things and we keep doing the same thing. Yeah. Expecting different results. That's yeah. insanity. We're doing the same thing over and over and over. Mm -hmm. And expecting different results. Yeah. We'll get in the word and keep reading the word. Mm -hmm. It'll get in there and you're going to retain it because the word of God says that you can do all Amen. things in Christ. Amen. Proverbs 18, 21 says what? Leaking, speaking wrong words. <laughs> oh, boy. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Death and life are in the words you speak. Mm. Man, that's, that's, that's important. That's popular right there. Mm. Now, I want to remember this because I, I'm going to quit shooting my mouth off. Mm. <laughs> uh, I think it was a few Sundays back we were talking about it. We showed a machine gun. Some of us yeah. are real good at yeah. just shooting our, our mouth out. We need to be careful and control. So they put a guard there and don't respond the way they, you or what you heard or what they said yes, to you. Yes, yes. I said, Jesus didn't. He was, you'd rather be quiet than say something negative. Yeah. And he never said anything mm -hmm. negative. You still love pastor, huh? <laughs> Yeah. Don't say I can't. Yeah. Don't say I can't. <laughs> Matthew uh, twelve thirty seven says, "For by the words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned." Mm -hmm. Okay, the words are powerful. Yes. And death and life are in the power of the tongue, mm -hmm. but the tongue speaks words. Yeah. So words are very popular, very important. So. God is telling us this. Renew your mind. Stay attached. Stay committed. Stay involved. Stay devoted. And yes. stay hungry to the fountain of living water. Stay full. Fresh water can't flow from us, his word, to the lost world if we don't stay full. We can't be used to God if we don't have it. We got to stay full. We say, well, he never uses me. Well, it's maybe because you're not prepared. Mm -hmm. Make yourself available. Yeah. Stay prepared and make yourself available. He's going to use you. More ways than you think. Yes. In different ways. Sometimes, well, you know, that's just common, you know, for me to bless somebody, say something nice to somebody, or or or, or you give some finances to somebody that was down and out. That's ministry. That's blessing somebody. Mm -hmm. God is using you. God has put that on you to bless somebody. Mm -hmm. and say something nice to someone yes. instead of negative. Amen. You don't know what you shared with them mm -hmm. allowed them to live another day. Maybe they was ready to kill themselves. Mm -hmm. And you told them, you know what God does? Tell, them, tell her, tell him, I love him. God mm -hmm. told me to tell you that he loves you. Mm -hmm. The world's already rejected him. Mm -hmm. But he just told him God loves him. And you just open a whole new door for them. Mm. Amen. And that's ministry right there. You know, he's using you. So let's remember this. You know, don't let people <laughs> come against you and say, well, <laughs> is that all you do for ministry? Mm. I do whatever God tells me to do. Amen. Could be small for you, but it's big for him. Yeah. yeah. Them lost people out there, Jesus died for them too. Mm -hmm. It's not just about us saved people. Yes, yes. It's about us reconciling the world back to him. Yes. And he wants to use you to reach people. And you know, where I go, you can go. And where you go, I can go. Mm -hmm. So we all go into the world in different areas yes. and, and, and do ministry for Jesus. Be witnesses for him. Amen. Amen. Hunger and thirst for more of him. Yes. Let me read it to you this way. John 37, uh, I read it a few minutes ago. Let me read it to you again. John 37, uh, B and 38 says, In the last days, the great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, 
If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. Mm -hmm. uh, 38 says, He that believeth in me, as the scripture said, out of his belly shall flow rivers mm -hmm. of living water. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, I can't learn, I can't learn, you know. You keep feeding on the word, next thing you know is, man, these words are just shooting out of you. I say, wow, I can't believe. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. You know, God will use you and sometimes you see yourself as this, I can't believe that I said those things. I can't believe that came out of me. But don't deny it. That's it. He wants to use you and he will. He's the potter and we're the clay. clay. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Praise God. Thank yeah. you, Lord. Jeremiah 18, 26 says this. Well, let me see here. Let me read it to you. 18, uh, 2 through 6 says, in the, uh, I'm doing it in the easy to read version. Jeremiah, go to the potter's house. I will give you my message there. Mm. He obeyed. He, he's got to go. So I went down to the potter's house mm. and saw him working with clay at the wheel. Mm -hmm. He was making a pot of clay. But there was something wrong with the pot. Yeah. So the potter used the clay to make another pot uh -huh. with the same hands. He shaped the pot mm -hmm. the way he wanted it to be. Then this message came from the Lord. And it came to me. It said, <coughs> family of Israel, you know that I can do the same thing with you. You are like clay in mm -hmm. the potter's hands. And mm -hmm. I am the potter. And this message is from the Lord. He's the potter and we're the clay. Yes. You know, remember where if you're a leaky Christian, <laughs> you can go sit at the potter's oh, yeah. wheel. <laughs> And he's going to patch you and this clay and patch up all those leaky uh, cracks you've got. Yes. So we won't have to do that no more. So he's a potter and we're the clay. So he sent him, he sent him, he says, go see this. I want you to see this. He's a potter and we're the clay. And he's going to mold us and shape us the way he wants us. So we don't have to Amen. compare or compete against anybody. That's it. Because he made you just the way you are. Yes. And you're Thank special you to him. And you're no Amen. accident. And you know why you're here? He's, you're here because he sent you here and he put you here. So now I need to find out what is it he wants me to do. Mm -hmm. So you spend time with him, have a relationship with him. And he's going to talk back with you. Big or small, don't let people talk to you and put you down for what is big or small. If it pleases the Father, so be it. Yes. Be happy. Amen doesn't matter you know yeah he, we talked about this wednesday in bible study the physical body is kind of like the body of christ mm -hmm. this physical body has many parts we got a little bitty toe and we have a, a bright <laughs> we have a heart oh, you know yeah. and little toe is no comparison to a heart or a mm -hmm. brain man that's more popular mm -hmm. no mm -hmm. god made it that way mm -hmm. and he put it where he wanted that's it. and you're going to fulfill and accomplish what he wants you to do and I'm going to do what my little toe wants me to do. Mm -hmm. Go back and, do and, and the thing about it is, this physical body has many parts, but one body. Mm -hmm. And the thing about it is, we they all work. All these parts work together in unity. Yeah. And there's no comparison, no competing against each other. Yeah. We're working in unity. And that's mm -hmm. what the body of Christ needs to do. Mm -hmm. We need to come together and flow together and work in unity and not division. That's what the enemy wants to do. He wants to divide us. We must not allow this to happen. Mm -hmm. And we that's staying hungry and mm -hmm. thirsty for more of him. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. We're not going to finish this. <laughs> Spend time with the potter and he will patch all the cracks. Mm -hmm. He'll make us new. Yes. He says, 2 Corinthians 5, 17 says, you're a new creature in Christ. Let's go here real quick. 2 Corinthians 5, 7, 17. Okay, I'll give you a clue. It's in the New Testament. New Testament. <laughs> yes. It's right, right after 1 Corinthians. <laughs> you know how you get to know the word? You spend time in it. <laughs> well, we used to uh, teach uh, children for a long time and uh, just teaching the books of the Bible. That's, that's, a, that's, that's a thing. 
you know the Old Testament, all the Old Testament books and all the Old New Testament books? Yeah. Oh, praise God. Are you there? Yes. It says, therefore, if any man, again, yes. hey man, that, that's, that could be you. That's you. Being Christ, he is a new creature. Yes. Old things are passed away. Behold, Amen. all things have become new. So now, the enemy is going to use the old things uh -huh. to try to keep you down. Yes. So, you accepted Christ. Now you, you're a new creature in Christ. New creature. Let, let the old go. Yes. If Jesus forgave and forgot, so can you. Amen. If you're not doing it, it's because uh -huh. you're not casting it on Him, giving it to Him. Mm -hmm. Confess it and then forget. Mm -hmm. Forgive. He'll forgive you and forget about it. So you need to do the same thing. Amen. You're a new creature in Christ. Amen. So see yourself that way. Don't see yourself in the past anymore. And if it keeps coming up, it's because the enemy just yes. keep bringing it up to you. Or yes. people keep bringing it up to you. But you know what? I'll just let them know. It says, that's in the past. Can't use that against me no more. That's it. I'm a new creature in Christ. I'm a new person. The old is gone, the new is in. So that's where I'm going to go from. I'm going to operate from the new and not Amen. the old. The old is, is gone. History. Mm -hmm. Woo Hallelujah. Praise I'm just going to read this to you and uh, then we can close. <laughs> but it says, the opposite of hungry is this. Mm. Satisfaction. Huh. Average is an enemy. Don't settle for average life. God wants to launch you from down below, past the middle, all the way to the top. Mm. Amen. But say, well, you know, I just want to be average. I'm just a little nobody. You're somebody. But he wants to take you up. And he wants to promote you to better things. Mm -hmm. He don't want you to be crawling like a snake. He don't want you to be yeah. wallowing in the mud with them pigs or scratching yeah. with the chickens. He said he wants yeah. you to soar with the eagles. Yeah. Amen. So he's not just wants you to be average. He wants you to be above, Amen. over and above over. all this. Amen. Yeah. So past the middle to the top. Hunger yes. for more. Hunger more for him. Uh -huh. Soaring with eagles uh -huh. over all your problems. You know why you got problems? I'll tell you why you got problems. Because you haven't given it to him. Uh -huh. He says, cast all your cares on me. Yes. Because yes. I care for you. I yes. love you. So why are you still holding yeah. on to him? You got to. It says cast them. Cast means yes. throw. throw. It didn't say just mm -hmm. you cast it on him. Give it to him. It says give it to me. I've got better things for you to do. I've got a mission for you. Mm -hmm. And I want you to fulfill your mission. Yeah. But uh, you've got to give me all this weight, yeah. extra stuff that you got, that you're holding on to. Let yeah. it go. There you go. And let God. Yes. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Uh, don't be complacent. Don't be lukewarm. But since you're lukewarm, says neither hot nor cold, he says, I will spit you out of my mouth. Amen. So in closing, Amen. let's remember to stay hot, stay yes. hungry, and stay thirsty for more of Him. Amen? Yes. Hallelujah. Did you notice that? We're going to continue with this next week. Yes. And uh, we're talking about great, great examples of following or walking with God. And we're going to talk about Enoch. You ever heard about Enoch? Oh, Who was Enoch? You know why Enoch is mentioned in the Bible? Uh, Enoch, when walking with God, uh, and he was gone, <laughs> he never came back. He never died, never buried, he just went to heaven. So one day, <laughs> same thing going to happen to us. He's going to come, he's going to rapture us. <laughs> and we're going to be gone. Amen. Amen. So, whew, hallelujah. Let's uh, stay hungry. Yes. For God and daily, daily walking Amen. with Jesus. Amen. Yes. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. I hope you got something. Yes. I got something. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So those of you that are watching, those of you that are, are listening, if you never accepted Christ, this is your opportunity. Yes. Amen. Now's the time. You know, you've been holding on too long. Yeah. It's time to let go and let God. Amen. Amen. All you have to do is say, Lord, I've sinned against you. Yes. 
Come into my life, be my Lord and Savior, and you will. You know? And that's only the beginning. What you need, you're a new creature in Christ now. So you gotta press on, you gotta find your Bible-based church where you can learn the word of God, where they teach the word, and you get your Bible, start reading it. Stay hungry, stay thirsty for more of him, and he's gonna transform you. And yes. you're gonna be someone else. He's gonna be who he called you to be. Amen. You're gonna find out for yourself. Be that person he wants you to be. Amen. The Bible says you can do all things through Christ. All things. Amen. We don't compare, we don't compete. We complete one another. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we're to work and flow and operate in unity. Amen. So praise God. Yeah. If you have sickness in your body, he didn't give us sickness. Jesus went to the cross, took stripes on his yeah. back for us to be healed. Amen. So if any malfunctions in your body, I come against it in the name of Jesus. I speak healing over your body. The Bible says by his stripes we're healed. So I'm I'm just believing. That everything that he put in you yes. functions in a perfection. He created it to function. Amen. No malfunctions in this body. No in Jesus' precious name. So body, receive your healing now in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. Whatever Amen. healing you have, don't let it go. Just like the lady with the issue of blood. He says, I'm not going to let it go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, if I touch the hem of his garment, it don't matter. You can just say, Lord, <laughs> I'm standing on your word. Mm -hmm. And I'm not letting go. I believe Amen. I'm healed. And whatever it is, you're healed now in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. So it's time to give. Those of you watching, listening, you can still give. Just go over our website, nbcbigben.com. Hit that donate button if you're mailing it. Uh, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can do Cash App now at New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Mm -hmm. God loves you, and we love you. Amen. God bless. Yeah.